hold Windows key and press X it will bring up a menu on the start bar and select device manager so in device manager expand the display adopters node right click on your display driver and click on update drivers click on search automatically it will find the drivers online and if it says the best drivers are already installed click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update it will bring up the Windows Update window click on the check for updates button and let it find the suitable updates with the drivers it can take several minutes depending on your internet connection and the state where your system is updated so it is now initializing the updates it has found some updates which is which are being initialized Now it is preparing to download the updates. Let it download all the updates and then install the updates. So if the update finds any new driver, uh, let them install. And if there is no driver found for from the updates, you can just skip uh, the process here and you can move to method two. hold Windows key and press X and choose device manager again in device manager you will need to expand display adapter and then right click on your display adapter and select properties the driver tab click on the rollback driver button this will ask you to choose any option while you are rolling back choose any option or provide any information that you may want to and click on yes it will roll back the drivers on a step previous version which is available in your computer you can repeat the steps until or unless the issue is resolved uh, but you will need to uh, check after every rollback operation now go back to run command type appvis.cpl and in the application wizard control panel locate the Microsoft Visual C++ entries choose one at a time and then click on uninstall the process is to uninstall all the Windows Microsoft Visual C++ installations and then get a newer version from the link which is provided in the description paste the link in any of the browser
this link will bring up you all the available supported Visual C++ downloads it's it will give you all the options 2017 2015 and then 2013 whichever is suitable for a system click on any link to download the Visual C++ runtime the download links are given in every category just click on one to download let it download so once it's downloaded just click on run agree to the terms and conditions and click on install okay let's close the installer now press windows key and r and type appbiz.cpl and hit enter you'll see the new version is installed now click on any installation previous installation and click on change and select repair this is another method apart from installing the uh, latest version you can repair the one which is already installed so once the process is done click on close now certain applications have reported to cause Visual C++ to crash explorer uh, there can be plenty you can uninstall all of them if you are listed in the video uh, once you uninstall any application don't forget to restart your computer to uninstall just select the application from programming feature and click on uninstall now press control shift and escape key at the same time it will bring up the task manager click on show advanced and then in the processes tab find out or locate Windows Explorer process here it is Windows Explorer right click on Windows Explorer process and select and task now click on file menu and click on run new task type mdschedd and click on OK now click on restart now and check for problems it will restart the computer and once the computer restarted it will run the diagnostic you'll need to follow the wizard it will run few tests for the diagnostic and it will provide you all the status hope this video will help you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe